and welcome back to my channel, CPN The Crafts. In this video, I just have a quick little project to share for you guys. My neighbor is having her birthday party today, so I thought I would make her this cute little birthday card real quick before I head over there. But before I get into the details of that, I just want to share some of these awesome items that I recently picked out at In Love Art Shop and they were kind enough to let me pick out a few items and send them to me for my paper crafts and junk journaling. So I just wanted to share that with you guys. And if you see anything that you like, um, they also gave me a coupon code for you guys. I will go ahead and leave that on the screen. You guys, they have some amazing things on their website at a very, very, very discounted price. They have sales going all the time. They have die, die cuts, they have stamps, they have, um, what is that, diamond painting, they have um, paper stacks, they have all kinds of things. So if you guys are interested, definitely check that out and use that coupon code. And I'm going to share with you guys the things that I picked out and the things I used to make this cute little card. So the thing I love the most about paper crafting is stickers, you guys. I am obsessed with stickers and I picked out these three packs on their website. The first pack is this really, really pretty, almost like a, like a garden, like a vintage garden. And so I'm just going to share the stickers and you get three of each. And this is, this sticker pack is actually what I used in this card. So I'm just going to kind of spread them out so you guys can see how beautiful these stickers are. I love this one, this little fairy in the garden. I think this is gorgeous, very vintage looking. And like I said, you get three of each. These just have very vintage garden vibe to them. I just love all of these so much and I can't wait to use these in my junk journals. I have a, a botanical junk journal that I plan on using these guys in and they are just so so beautiful. I can't I can't get over it. So this is the first pack that I picked out. So I'll just go ahead and move those over. And then the second one is just more botanical. And on the back, it actually shows you like all of the um, flowers or floral or whatever stickers that are in there. And I just fell in love with these mushrooms. I think these are going to look amazing in the junk journal that I actually recently just did that I made on my channel. So these ones are so, so beautiful. The color is gorgeous. And like I said, these are stickers, you guys. These aren't just um, die cuts. These are stunning. Look at these mushrooms. I love these little mushrooms so, so much. You have like little ferns. So lots of really beautiful stickers. And oh, and look at these mushrooms too. They just have like this really vintage quality to them that I really, really love. So that is the second one I ordered. And the last one that I ordered was actually really unique. It has like almost like this gothic vintage vibe to it. And I'm actually going to be using these as well in my fall junk journal um, in the Halloween section of that like you have like these skeleton floral hands that are really really beautiful like this vintage butterfly and this bird cage so beautiful and then these kind of have like this french i think this is french chateau french s vibe going on. I just love these so much. These are, honestly, I don't know where else I could find these. I 
I really love this one. And these are great for like DIY like signs or ornaments for Christmas. Those little uh, palettes that they sell now at Dollar Tree. Those little wooden mini palettes. I think this would look beautiful on there as like a Christmas ornament. And I think that's what I'm going to do um, with this guy right here. But look at these. These are floral lungs. I mean, how how neat is that? So this one was really, really unique, so I had to grab it. They had so much cool stuff on there. Honestly, it was really, really hard for me to um, pick out my items, but I'm definitely going to be going back and picking out some other things because they're just so so unique and so discounted that I don't know where else, like I said, that I could find these things for that price. And they offer um, free shipping worldwide on orders over $25, which is really cool. Look at these birds. So I'm really, really excited to be using these in my junk journal. So that is the third set that I got. So you guys know I have, well, some of you guys know that I have an obsession with stickers, so I couldn't resist. And then these are actually like, um, little, what do you call these? Die cut. They're little die cuts and they're so delicate. They're like laced die cuts. And I'm not sure if it's going to show up that well, but look at these little gates, you guys. These are so pretty and so delicate. I can't. I tr I've tried to cut out things like this on my Cricut, and I don't know if it's my blade or my machine, but every time I try it just, it rips the paper. And you guys, these are like very, very, very delicate. So these are going to look awesome in my junk journal. And like I said, I actually, um, I actually used one of these in the card I made right here in the background. And I just, I love them so much. So these are really, really cool. And like this little window. So these are very, very beautiful and they're gonna look awesome in my junk journal or um, in a, other cards that I make. And the last thing I picked out was this six by six pack of Christmas like vintage scrapbooking paper. And the, I forget what the how much this was, but it was super cheap. It was a lot cheaper than Michael's or Hobby Lobby. And I just love the designs on here. They're so vintage. And this is going to look awesome in my uh, Christmas junk journal or to make cards. I love this little cardinal paper. I think it's beautiful. So a lot of, a lot of cute papers in there and they had so many different ones, but look at this one. It just has like this vintage vibe to it that I really, really love. And then this one has like music notes on it. So I was really, really excited about these items. All right, so now I'm going to get into the um, project share, which is this birthday card, like I said, that I made for my neighbor. And so what I used was the the first pack I showed you guys, the stickers. I It has like this vintage garden theme that I was kind of going with. And I just used some of those stickers on the outside as well as on the inside where I'm gonna write the message. And they just look really, really beautiful. And I also um, took some of the packaging that it came in and it's like this vellum paper. And so I put that behind that little um, circle die cut and I thought it looked really beautiful. The happy birthday and the card I actually made with my Cricut, but I just embellished it with those stickers as well as 
that um, really pretty laced die cut. And then I just took some, uh, some bits and pieces that I had, like this paper flower, and then I just hot glued a pearl to it and put some feathers in the back, as well as some buttons. And I just hot glued on this simple bow and then this cute little high heel. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Definitely go check out this shop. It's amazing. Super, super low prices that you can't, you can't find anywhere at a craft store here in the U.S. So definitely go check them out and use that coupon code uh, that I shared in the beginning of this video. And until my next one, I hope you guys have a great week and happy crafting.